Hello. Hello, everybody. I was about to say guys and then everybody and then, yeah. Came out as one word. Yeah. Hi, hey guys. It. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. I hope you all are doing very well today. Uh, it's me and Becca. We are here. Tanner and Courtney and Blake and a lot of other people are on vacation this week. Uh -huh. So we are here. Um, Tanner and Blakey were supposed to do a little check-in tour vacay live on Monday and they said that the day got away from them so we do apologize for that guys but I'm telling you that was better than little old me being here by myself trying to read the comments and change my cameras and design and it, this is definitely not a one person job no. it's just not if you want to do it properly and I feel like we are uh, or at least we try to be a professional company so, so I hope you all are doing great. Let me know what you guys have going on. Right out of the gate, I do want to mention that we do have a Design Make Sale on sale today. Big for sale. $50 big, big, big off. Sale. Yeah. Big sale. Yes, Becca. Big sale. 50 bucks off using the code DSM. Wait, wait. DMS. 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 I knew that sounded wrong. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, that doesn't sound right. Yes. So Design Make Sale using that coupon code DMS at checkout and you can get 50 bucks off and I just I just found out today I think this has always been the plan but you know but I we didn't know about I don't it. get told anything yeah um on the 21st of June that is when like it closes like design my make sale is going to be no longer open to registration so if you want to get out in on it if you want to get let me move my cell phone and everything out of the way the amazing design and sell books then you also wait no there's one and then here's one sorry guys there, there was a lot going on today if you guys want these amazing books which are super thick and really nice um to print out yourself you can get the advanced or professional tier of design make sale and what it is is it teaches you guys how to design your own svgs we have a lot of things using like illustrator and things like that would teach you how to take amazing photos setting um, up etsy accounts setting up etsy accounts what products to sell what picking you, your niche picking your niche where to buy bulk blanks we cover all the bases there's 41 classes in that course which is incredible so if you guys would like to learn how to design make and sell your own projects using your die cutting machine um then this is the perfect course for you so definitely get that and of course guys we are here from makers gonna learn and if you don't know what that is it's an amazing die cutting community which is different than design make sell that's kind of like a course for learners if you want to learn it doesn't really have any like how to's on the machine or anything like that but uh, makers gonna learn however is exactly what you want if you were a beginner if you don't use your Cricut as much as you thought you would if you are looking to be inspired and educated about your machine that's literally what we do we give you guys cut files thousands of cut files hundreds of fonts uh, members only Facebook groups printable guides uh, free commercial licensing all, all kinds of stuff we're 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 great so get it if you have a cricket because you're gonna miss out and also i answered a comment the other day on um one of our videos a boyfriend was asking me some questions because he was trying to get his girlfriend a cricket and he wanted to know which one was best for her well that's the sweetest and like ever. literally my heart <laughs> i'm like you are awesome first of all i'm like major brownie points i mean he was asking really really good questions he really wanted to get her one that she loved and uh, he mentioned that he would be back to Makers Gonna Learn whenever she did get it so that she could learn how to use her machine and get the most out of it. And I really appreciate that. Like, it wasn't salesy or anything. He was just like, you're great. We're just going to work together whenever she gets her machine, which is awesome. So uh, that's what we do. Let me know if you have any questions about that. Um, but, yeah. Okay, Becca, have I missed anything? Nope. Just lots Sweet. of highs. Wes Sweet. is here. He hasn't been here in a while. So Hi, Wes. Hello. Welcome Dallas today. Dallas, Texas. Goodness gracious. Well, guys, today we're making some really cute bridesmaids gifts. It's really like one gift, but in, in the gift is many other gifts. Mm -hmm. So you guys can separate these out and give these to your gal pals or make a little kit like Becca did um, or really just whatever you want. All we're here to do is teach you a bunch of different skills today. Um, so we do have quite a few uh, supplies. Again, all the supplies, fonts, cut files we're using are linked in the description below. But since this is 
a little like kit kind of. I mean, you get this cute little wine koozie here with some vinyl on it. Uh, Becca made this adorable little candy box with a printable vinyl little sticker, a little label on here. And it says, I promise no ruffles or puffy sleeves. Will you be my maid of honor, please? Just the cutest thing. Um, and then this adorable, Becca, is this denim? Is it, I think uh, it's chambray. I think it's it? considered chambray. Yeah. Okay. So this is that word. <laughs> that word. Yeah. Did we link up. to that? Did we link to yeah. it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's in the description if you want to try and pronounce it. I don't want to take a shot at it. Uh, Becca's better at that than I am. Uh, she ironed on this cute little maid of honor on the pocket there. What I love about this is that it's subtle. It's subtle. It's not like in big, bold font all over the back of it. It's subtle on the pocket here. I think it's really classy and I love it. So she has included a ton of stuff in this little kit here that I'm pretty jealous of and really excited to teach you all how to make. So if you're ready to make all of that, buckle up uh, because we have a lot to get through today. So, oh, that's mine that I need and that's Anna's. Okay, we're, we're, we're getting it. So we got this cute little wine tumbler. I think this is from Walmart, but I did um, link you guys one to Amazon. This is just kind of like a powdery pink, you know, blush pink, really cute. Um, then we have that shirt there from Amazon. And for our little uh, Six Lips candy box, we just use that graphics craft plastic that I talk about all the time, that 0 .007 millimeter. And with this, you will also need your Cricut Maker because we're using the engraving tip today. So if you guys do not have a Cricut Maker, feel free to make this out of cardstock, really heavy cardstock or something like that. And maybe don't put very heavy candy in it, something like that. Or you can skip it and make something else that you would like to make, uh, something that you can incorporate the label with. But you will need that graphics craft plastic and your uh, engraving tip. So do remember that. Also, we have our mini easy press, our mini easy press mat back here. We have our masking paper transfer tape, our alcohol, some paper towels, six slits, some white iron on, some printable vinyl. This is just the Cricut brand printable vinyl that we use. You'll also need your printer. We love our Canon TS8120. They have, um, in the past couple of months, upgraded that uh, printer. So we linked the updated one down below for you guys as well. We have our ATG gun, which is amazing. And then we also have some uh, silver vinyl from uh, Oracle. So actually, what Becca used is this gorgeous brushed silver that we get from, I think, is it Starcraft? I think so. Yeah, I think it's Starcraft. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Like, this is what I would recommend. Although, when I was collecting these random pieces, I couldn't find it. But that's, that's what we linked below for you guys. Uh, but here, I just showed you some silver that we had. So, we went through all of that good stuff. So, you all let me know if you have any questions about the supplies that we're using or anything like that. Um, because... I mean, it's gonna go pretty quick today, which I am excited about. We're gonna be able to make a ton of things in not a lot of time, which is great. And I almost forgot this box, Becca. Oh yeah. So this box <clears throat> is a Hallmark box from Amazon. It comes with this little string so you can tie it in a bow if you want to. And then whenever you open it, it actually comes with this like little, these confettis, you know, what do you call these? Like, you know, like the grass and mm -hmm. Easter baskets. It comes it's with- filler. We're like gonna a, call it filler paper. Filler paper. <laughs> Thank you, Becca. It's like a classy version of the the grass and Easter baskets. Yes, and yes. yeah, it's a cute little Hallmark box. So that is linked below as well. That's what we have um, to put all of our goodies in, which is cute. I think it was around seven bucks, which unless you have a buttload of bridesmaids, that's fine, you know, like that's that's worth it. Because this is also a cute box that I could put like jewelry or perfume mm -hmm. or something in. Or reuse it for another gift. Yeah, I mean, yeah. this is a cute, you're not gonna be throwing that no. away. Like, so cute. Um, quick question, Megan says, now that you've used StarCraft, how do you feel it compares into Oracle? So we've actually been using StarCraft all along. Well, um, I have been using it and not even knowing it. Yeah. Because we have it all stacked up together. Mm -hmm. And if I, see a, if I see the color I'm looking for, I grab it. I don't really ask a whole lot of questions. Um, and they're always in 12 by 12 sheets are the ones that we use that we don't buy in bulk. Um, and it cuts and weeds very well. I mean, I don't see a difference. No, honestly, yeah. Like, I, I 
we don't know the difference unless like we look it. at it. I like if, it a lot. That, yeah. yeah. So we're still using 651 vinyl. I know that that whole thing happened of Orichal 651 being sold by 651 vinyl, which is super sad. But we're still using them because we like StarCraft. Um, and it's doing really well. I mean, it, it looks great. So that's what we're using. Um, there's a question. High level membership. Yeah. You guys are great. I wanted to know what's the difference between removable vinyl, permanent vinyl, and other types of vinyl. Now, do we have a video on that already? I'm going to find it and link Wait, it Wait, I don't you. know if it's out. Okay. We have a video explaining the different types of vinyl, like iron-on versus chalkboard versus... So we have that video. If that's okay. what you're looking for, let uh, me know and Becca is going to come to your aid with that video. Yeah. But I also have a video coming out because I bet I answer 10 questions a week about what the difference what, is. What is the difference between just the adhes adhesive vinyl? So should I get premium outdoor or permanent or regular or 651, 631? Um, and I just really, I'll give you the whole video in 30 seconds. There's not really a difference. As long as you spend money to get a good brand yeah. of adhesive vinyl, the adhesive is basically the same thing. Now 651 and 631, 631 is literally a marketed to be less sticky. So if it says not as sticky or is a little less uh, adhesive or whatever that it has on it, don't get it. But like Orchow 651, Cricut Vinyl, uh, I mean, it's all basically the same thing. I personally don't think that there's a, a big difference in the adhesives as much as like the thickness of the vinyls that I've failed in those, which really I don't much care about. I just want to know, is it sticky and is mm. it going to stick? And you all should know, like if you're going to put regular vinyl on a wood sign and stick it outside, you should know it's not gonna stay there. I mean, just because you can't put vinyl on wood and stick it outside, you have to seal it at least. So, or if you're putting it on a car, you know, wipe the car window down. Mine's been there for six months and it still looks brand new. Yeah. I mean, and it was just Orcal. I mean, you know. I sort of hate that they marketed, Cricut marketed uh, one of their vinyls as removable because it suggests that the other one is not. And all vinyls are removable. All, thank you, Becca. There yeah. is no such thing as a permanent adhesive vinyl there's just not yeah we could get them all so i mean technically i, I guess cricket in, you know specifically wanted removable vinyl to be seen as less sticky as permanent um i, I don't really tell that much of a difference we use permanent vinyl on everything though like literally if we're going to use vinyl other than hgv it's permanent um they're I, I think they're easily removable carol now it depends on what you put it on if you uh, like we were just talking about, if you put vinyl on a, even sanded, like a sanded wood sign, it's going to come off pretty easy. If you put vinyl on glass, it's going to take a little more just because that's such a slick surface plus the adhesive of that vinyl. It's going to stick really, really, really well, which is why we recommend adhesive vinyl for car decals. Mm -hmm. So you're just going to have to work a little harder at it. And you might have to use some goo gone on some, you know, if there's any residue, but there is no permanent vinyl. You can get it off. Yeah, like wh what she should use for like a stencil. Honestly, I would just get a cheapy vinyl from like your craft store or whatever and use it as your stencil um, for sure. Yeah. It's going to be cheaper. On concrete too, you need to be careful because that's depending on how much concrete you're working with. That can get pretty expensive and you can't really... I, I personally, though, wouldn't recommend a reusable stencil like m using some of this like StarCraft or StarCraft, some of this graphics plastic. I wouldn't recommend that unless you have a super light touch with your brush, with your pouncer brush, because on concrete where it's uneven and everything, if you don't have a good seal on that stencil, then you're going to have bleeding in all of those nooks and crannies. So just, just be careful whenever you do that for sure. Yeah. What about on painted wall indoor? I heard that permanent will peel the paint slash top layer of drywall, but that removal will not harm the paint drywall. Catherine, that's not true for any vinyl I've ever used. No, um, me either. I don't know what vinyl they were using. Oh, Lord. I mean, it, you know. They might have used something you had, like, not called vinyl, but so probably something you had to buy at Home Depot for, you know. I mean, Lord only knows what they Yeah, tried. I'm not saying that there isn't a vinyl out there that, that will do that, but I've never used one In that, the craft that industry. Did. Yeah. I don't think there's one. Maybe in the construction in industry, there's some kind of vinyl or something. We even, but when we've I never worked come at um, Sheer Structure the salon that I worked with, we had like a like a floor to ceiling vinyl wow. decal of our um, of our logo done, and so it was by a sign maker. So yeah. it was like industrial grade, yeah. And it came like it came right yeah. off too. I, I think that's what I'm saying. Yeah. He was probably using the professional stuff, and it came off probably as easy as cricket wood or or cow wood. Um, 
I do want to say putting them on walls, even if your walls don't seem textured, it's going to be super hard. I just don't recommend vinyl on walls unless it's done in a specific way. I tried to make my, or no, I didn't try to make it. She bought, my friend Bailey who had her baby last year, she bought like this big vinyl sticker for her nursery. that was like a tree with leaves and stuff. They popped off in 30 minutes and I burnished my heart out. So, I mean, I just don't think vinyl sticks that well onto walls. Okay, guys. We have to get to the craft, but Miss Becky can come in and start answering all of your vinyl questions. Again, we will have videos coming out on that and feel free to ask your questions in the comments if you're watching this not recorded, or excuse me, if you're watching this not live, if you're watching it recorded, and I'll, I'm happy to answer those on there. But um, I wanna get into the craft today. So uh, let me know if you have any more questions about today's craft or what fonts we're using or anything like that. And we're gonna go ahead and head over into design space. We just have some cut files and some fonts and some welding and some flattening to do. It's not gonna take that long and then we can assemble all this fun stuff and then we're good to go. You guys are ready for bridesmaids, um, which it's still wedding season because I mean, a lot of weddings have been postponed and things like that. So this is a good option. All of this stuff can be sent to your door. You don't have to get out um, if you're still staying home from COVID-19. So yeah, this is a great, a great little way to, you know, have some fun and get ready for your wedding for sure. Uh, Miss Sarah, just jumping in, what are you making today? Miss Sarah, we are making um, some really cute uh, bridesmaids gifts here. It's like a little gift basket type deal. We've got a shirt, um, a little uh, wine tumbler, and a cute little um, candy box here. And how are you settling in to Tennessee, Miss Sarah? Yeah. Let me know if that um, truck got there with your washer dryer and everything else in it. I know that that will make you feel so much more at home. So let me know if you are getting settled in. Okay, Miss Becca, whenever you're ready, I'm excited to jump into design space for you guys. All right, all right. And show you what we got going on here. So first and foremost, I think the most important thing that we have here is our 3D uh, box here. Now this is just the classic box template that you'll see if you look at any of our 3D um, cut files on our website over there. Um, and the first thing that you have to do with this is detach them. So I went down there and detached them. And now in the layers panel, I'm gonna go up and just click the layer with all of those lines on there. And you do have to do this on all of our 3D cut files. Any third party uh, 3D cut files is, you know, is this way. So this is what you'll have to do with all of them. And you see that they are for score. Well, we actually have to trick our Cricut to engrave these today. So we have selected engrave up here. Miss Becca already did it for me because she's that on top of everything. Um, but it would be on cut originally. And you would just change that from cut to engrave. Or if you were using paper, you would change that from engrave to score. Whatever you were using, uh, that's what you would have to change to. So paper, you'd be scoring. Um, and then today we're actually going to be engraving. So we switched that to engrave and now I'm going to click and hold my shift key and select both of those layers and attach those back just like back I had them. And now that's done. It's sized the max that you can uh, cut it, which is 11.5 inches. So that's what size that we're going to be cutting ours today. And then moving on to our label, we're going to go ahead and do our label first here. Well, let's go ahead and do this first because we're actually using this for two different things in this video. So I'll switch this over. So this is just our Maid of Honor cut file and we actually have this as a part of one large cut file that has a ton of things. It says bridesmaid, mother of the bride, father of the bride, you know, all that kind of stuff. It just has a lot of little sayings and they're Mr. and Mrs. and things like that. So this one, we're actually gonna duplicate this guy. I'll just duplicate it a couple times because the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is, um, take it and we're actually going to have to contour this out. Now you can contour or slice. Um, there's all different ways you can do it. So what we're trying to get though, is I want made of honor to be three separate uh, words or at least honor. Actually, we don't probably even have to do of uh, because it's kind of centered anyways. So all we'll have to do on this one is contour out the word honor. And then on this one, it will contour out, um, made of so that that way we have made of honor and we can use that like 
as one line. It's really easy. You guys have probably done this before. It's a really easy thing to do. We love working with that contour tool. Or you can go through there and slice it if you want to. I think that's all for that one. Yeah, so we've got our made of, and then we're gonna go back over here, click contour, and I'm gonna minus this out a little bit because there's a lot going on there. There we go. Easy peasy. Done. Okay, so now we have made of honor. So cute. And all you want to do is kind of make this uh, look in the middle. I don't think that um, like uh, aligning on the bottom would be good. Let's try centering vertically. And see, that looks, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. I think that's a good uh, little bit away. You want to make sure that you have space here, space here. That looks good. So now, since I like that, I'll just take it and attach it just like that. And we're actually going to duplicate this because we're going to be using this twice. So we're going to be using it once for our print and cut up there. And then we're going to be using it again because we are going to take another font here. And we're using the font uh, Cobblestone and Jojo for different things. And right now we're going to be using uh, Cobblestone. So we're gonna go up here. All of the fonts you'll download from Maker's Gonna be, Learn is gonna be under your system fonts. And then we'll search for cobblestone here. And this Miss Becca made for her sister. So we're gonna uh, type out Anna. And we can see how easy that was. And now we're just gonna size down Made of Honor. Just like that. And we can size up Anna. And we just kinda want to put this on the bottom here and just make it super cute. Make it kind of even. I'm gonna actually unlock it, guys, and make it a little bit longer. So I'm gonna stretch that out just a little bit. You gotta be careful that you're not um, distorting or anything like that, because uh, we don't wanna distort our cut file at all. We just want to make it a little bit, a little bit wider, longer. So now that you have them kind of where you want them, we're gonna select both of those and go up and align center horizontally. And you can see it just kind of locked everything into place there. And once you have it how you want it, it's just super simple. We're going to take both of those and attach them together. And I want that black so you can see it better. And there you go. So that's what we're going to be putting on our cup. So we're actually going to change this in a perfect world. You, world, you could change it to like gray because you know you're going to be cutting it silver or so on and so forth. So then you're just going to want to size it to your cup. Just make sure you're sizing everything properly. And over here, Miss Becca has hers at three inches, which is probably the most common size for cups and tumblers and things like that. Because if you wrap it around too much, it can get uh, distorted to where you can't really read it correctly. So three inches is a really, really good size to have that. So that one is now completed for us. And now we're going to start on our print and cut, which is going to be so easy. So here's our other maid of honor that we're using. I'm going to go ahead and change him to black. And now we're going to get out that really cute Jojo font. I'm going to go up to text and clear that out. And Jojo, look how cute this font is. And now I'm going to top it out as the, um, as I want them like in their lines. So the first one says, I promise that I'm just going to click off of it, guys. I'm not going to size it. I'm not going to mess with it. I'm just going to click off of it and click back on text box and then type out no ruffles. We're going to click back out. Don't even touch it. Go back down here or puffy. And again, this is kind of like the same thing where there's a ton of ways you can do this. So don't take my way and be like, this is the only way you can add this. You could type out the entire thing, ungroup it and piece it together that way as you go. It's really just to each their own. As long as you cross that finish line, it doesn't matter how you run the race, you know? So now sleeves, comma, here we go. Will you get another one? Be my, and then we're skipping Maid of Honor, of course, because that is what we're gonna be using that cute cut file for. So now the last one is please with a question mark. 
Easy peasy. So now I'm actually gonna take this guy and hide him because he would cause problems when I went to try and select all of these and move them. So now I'm gonna select all of these, size them down just a bit. You can make it pretty big as you're working with it in design space so it's not so hard for you. So I'm gonna put that down here and just gonna kinda place these where I know they're gonna go. I'm gonna make him a little bit bigger and place him there and he's too big but we'll, we'll deal with it. And see, it's just kind of, it's just kind of placing these easy peasy. It's it's re it's repetitive, and that's fine. Look how cute! And all what I'm wanting you guys to look at right now is if you like uh, the space in between these, and you we can actually fix that as well. I just want to make sure that you like. Uh, like how this how this looks if you want a little less space in between you can bring it up uh, to each other if you want more space in between you know whatever you'd like to do just don't focus on if like each line is in the middle of the other line or anything like that don't be you don't have to be too specific because once we have it kind of how we want it I'm actually gonna take all of these layers and go up here to a line and down here at the very bottom, you can distribute evenly. And what it'll do is it'll take the very first line and the very last line and move all of the other lines to be even. So when I click that, you can see what it did. And now I'm gonna go to a line and center horizontally. Watch this magic, guys. Beautiful. So it just kinda locked everything in there how I want it. You can be pickier if you want to, um, feel free. But I really like this right here. And now what I'm gonna do before I forget is take all of that and attach it together. Um, and now, like, it's so easy. You can take your little, um, I forget what this is called, like an outline or pretty much, it's kinda like an outline, a little frame here. And we're just gonna size this guy up. Now this is of course gonna be a print and cut, which is gonna be really easy to work with. I'm gonna keep stretching him and that looks cute right there. So um, just like the one that Becca made, you can kind of see some of the leaves here, but I kind of like that. It's not super perfect, it's a little bit imperfect, but you can still read it, of course, and it's totally fine. So I like the look of that, so I'm gonna take all of this together. And I'm not even going to center this. It's a little offset, I think it looks good. If you wanted to pull it over a little bit, you could take it and pull it over just a wee bit and try and, you know, tuck it here and tuck it there and see if you lock it in the middle. But if it looks good to you and it looks pleasing to the eye, that's fine. Don't even worry about it. Yeah, I think with a project like that, it's better just to eye it than yeah. to actually center it because you've got, you know, the eucalyptus is in different spots and it just becomes weird if you if you center it. Um, and that's a weird shape anyway. Right. You know? That's kind of right. a weird shape. Yeah. So yeah, we're just going to take that. I'm just going to group it so that it's together how I want it here on the canvas for me. And I know it's not going to go anywhere. And I'm going to make him a little bit smaller. And then to make this a true print and cut, that's going to be super easy. We're going to take us a shape here, get us a circle. And I'm actually going to unlock this and make it an oval here. So I'm just going to kind of stretch it down a little bit. And the goal is going to be, I'm going to make it gray right now so that I can see it still, but it's not so in the way. I'm going to bring this in and click Arrange, Send to Front. And you just want all of this covered, really. So I'm going to come in closer here so we can see everything. And it's all good and covered, you can see. So that looks good. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to click off of that and click on my, uh, my circle layer here. I'm going to interrupt you for just a second. Please we do. did have a question. Uh, someone was interested in knowing where um, you guys like to get your bulk blanks. So like uh, the wine tumbler and then the shirt. So uh, we don't do a lot of bulk buying like we that. We don't. Um, so true. I want to hear from you guys. Where do you guys like to get your blanks? Yeah, that's true. And if you guys have, uh, if any of you have watched that video from Design Make Sale, I'm sure that you guys have a lot of fun things to say about it because we did, uh, we do have some classes in there showing you guys where is the best prices, quality to buy, buy bulk blanks mm -hmm. and things. Um, and I'll just mention that while we're here, good segue. That is actually $50 off today using the coupon code DMS. 
at checkout, you get $50 off, which is incredible if you wanna learn how to design and make and sell your own projects, which is awesome. So, I have got all of these layers. You can see my layers panel, all of these are selected. I'm gonna click flatten down here to make this a print and cut. So, go ahead and click flatten. And you can see how pretty it's gonna be. I love that, okay. So, so cute, so cute. Now all you have to do is size it to your box. So I hit our box, so rude, I know. So here's our box. So since this is gonna be the actual size of the box in real life, then you can actually take this if you wanted to be, you know, this way about it. And if you hold down your, is it the shift button? And you slide this around, it'll lock that, um, that rotate for you. And like the top of your box is kind of right here. So you can kind of size this to your box and see how big you want it. And we don't want it to like overpower our box or anything, but we want it to be able to sit right here in the middle and look really good. So you don't, you, you don't want to make it like huge, you know, and you don't want to make it teeny tiny. Just kind of size it to your box to look really pretty. And Miss Becca's up here is a little over two inches wide here. So mine is actually, uh, a little bit wider than hers but as you can see we're just trying to fit it to the box so you can size it however you'd like that way but that's all she wrote guys like that's it it's so easy this is gonna be vinyl this is um oh I erased our other one look at me go mm -hmm. uh, that one is gonna be print and cut and then we have our iron on which I'm gonna have to go to uploads and try and find it oh oh no let me see here I'm going to try and find our um, Maid of Honor cut file that we're cutting out, which is Good rude, luck. Which is, if I can't find it, guys, you guys know. What does flatten do, do Rachel? Flatten makes anything and everything all one layer, which is incredible. And, guys, I've really done it. So, I don't know where it's at. And, to uh, guys, I'm sorry. So, I'm going to take this and duplicate it. Should I do this or is this just a waste of time? The world may never know. Um, uh, Miss Rebecca said, speaking of which, I still don't have my book and I sent an email to HyattMGL.com and have not received a response. Um, so the customer service email is actually HyattMakersGonnaLearn.com. Um, so you'll need to type out Makers Gonna Learn um, and then go ahead and send that email. I'm so sorry um, for that confusion. Um, and then, which of your fonts would you recommend if you were doing a beachy theme? Ooh, that's Ooh. a good question. I think it depends on the vibe you're going for. Yeah, yeah, there's so many cute ones. Lucy Lou is cute. There's one called Fishy Wishy um, that has little waves that kind of looks yes. like the end of yes. a mermaid tail. It's really cute. Um, is there a mermaid one? We, I think. Uh, I think, think there's a mermaid, a mermaid one. one. I think we have a mermaid one. And guys, because I'm just... Tails up. Yeah, tails, tails up. Tails up. Cute. So that's be perfect for the beach. And guys, just because I'm, I am I was ridiculous and erased my cut file and I can't find it, just so I don't leave you all hanging, all I'm doing here is uh, re basically just remaking this cut file. That's just what I'm doing. I don't even know if this is how it even looks. Made of honor. That's kind of how it looks. Um, just bring that cut file in. You're, you're actually going to use this cut file three different times, which is nutso. Um, and super cool that we can get that much use out of it. So it doesn't look quite like this, but I'm sorry, guys. Go ahead and size this cut file that does not look quite like this to the pocket of your shirt, the one that we use for this maid of honor and that maid of honor. Size that to the pocket of your shirt, and then you will cut this out of iron on. So what's going to be tricky is you actually want to make this a different color here. So we'll actually make that white and that's black and that's print and cut. So now when you go to click make it, once everything is sized, you can go ahead and click make it and it's gonna want you to do your print and cut first. Then you can see what you're gonna engrave here. And then here, Air Maid of Honor, that is gonna be iron on. So just make sure that you mirror that one. And then down here is just gonna be vinyl. So we can go ahead to up to the top and you can go ahead and print this out and cut it. Another thing I do wanna tell you because all of this is pre-cut. Thank you so much, Becca. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, we're just gonna be assembling this today because we wanna make sure that you, you know you 
we're not wasting your time. Your all's time is valuable. So uh, just one thing I wanted to note, other than making sure that you do mirror that and you have your engraving tip today, is make sure that you are uh, really on top of switching your materials. So for this one, after you print it, you'll cut it on printable vinyl. Then when you go down here, you're actually gonna cut this, this is super important guys, on transparency and you have to cut it two times. Do not take the mat out, do not stop it while it's cutting. After it cuts, just press that flashing cricket button again and let it cut all over again. So two cuts on transparency and using that engraving tip. And then down here, make sure you switch it to Cricut iron-on. And then down here, make sure you switch it to vinyl. So guys, that's all she wrote. Like that's, that's great. So once you have that done, you can go ahead and get everything um, ready to, to put together. It's just really about assembling. But while I'm over here, I'll go ahead and show you a little bit about Makers Gonna Learn if you don't already know. Um, for our yearly members, you do get access to those fonts, a free commercial license, which allows you to make money with your Cricut and allows you to be able to sell any and all projects you make using our cut files and fonts legally, which is awesome. And we also give our yearly members these three free e-courses, which is why our yearly membership is so amazing for beginners, because it just, it has all of this here for you. It really will break down how to use your machine, how to use the software. And then we have one on building a business, which is great for beginners who just wanna do something small and build a business. Um, and then I'm a very visual person, so here is kind of like a visual breakdown. You can see the perks go up and the price go down here for that amazing yearly membership, which is awesome. And then, um, that is not the correct link that I wanted, but that was to Design Make Sale. I wanted to show you guys all about Design Make Sale. But if you have not already gotten your ticket, you definitely need to. It's an amazing class that you guys will love. It's a course with 41 classes, it's not just one class, guys. Um, and then we also have our Summer Summit for 20 bucks off if you would love to attend our Summer Summit. That is coming up next month on the 25th and 26th. It is gonna be an amazing fun time. We have 10 classes for you all that are really well put together and super researched and everything like that. And we have um, guests, you know, guests coming and all of us are teaching classes and it's a super fun, exclusive little um, thing there for you guys to do if you'd like to do that as well. Super fun. So, Miss Rachel, Paige mm. Copeland said, I just found you yesterday and bought my year membership. I'm oh so my excited. Gosh. So, let's welcome Miss Paige. I'm Ms. so Paige, excited. Congratulations. Fantastic. We are so happy that you are here with us to craft today and to learn and to have fun. And then, Miss uh, Irma said, Can you purchase a monthly membership? Great question. We have a monthly membership, a six month membership, and a yearly membership. But, um, switching it over to your overhead. Then. Awesome, thank yeah. you. <laughs> However, 98% of our members are yearly members because you do not get fonts, you do not get that commercial license, and you do not get those three free e-courses if you are a monthly member. And the reason for that is because our yearly members pay the entire year up front. Um, and because you invest in us, we'll invest in you and give you those amazing perks. So it's just kind of like, you know, if you will invest in us for a year, then we do give you those perks. But we do have some monthly members, of course, that do enjoy um, Makers Gonna Learn. But you also, you get those cut files and access to the Members Only Facebook group and the printable guides for being a monthly member. Uh, so, I mean, any member has fun with Makers Gonna Learn. No one doesn't have fun. But it's just way more fun for some of our yearly members who get to use those fonts. Um, fonts are my favorite, personally. But... We are gonna go ahead and start making some of these fun things. Um, if we have any questions, Miss Becca will cut me off and let me know. We are gonna start with our little box here. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this camera on in. And I'm also just gonna go ahead and heat up our Easy Press Mini on the second heat setting. I think that's wind, Becca. Yeah, I think so too. That's weird. It sounds like a jet. That wind is blowing, guys. So here is our... Um, 
transparency, or pff, here's our little plastic that was cut on transparency. And you can see that engraving tip did a really good job there. And this is what it looks like. So all that we're gonna do right now is just kind of with our hands, go through there and just pinch and score all of this. So we're just gonna pinch and bend. And I don't really remember, like this is the bottom clearly. So this is the top, so you'll just pinch this in. And the reason why we're not using a, um, bone fold or anything is because it's just not necessary with this. I mean, it, it, they bend per, like perfectly. As soon as you even get it close to bending on its little um, part that was engraved, it's ready to go. So I know y'all can't see a whole lot here. I wish you could. I don't know if like having something like that would help maybe, but I'm just pinching along all of these little lines here. So uh, Michaela said, what would be an alternative for the box? So, um, if you don't have craft plastic, then you could definitely use like a cardstock to make this box too. Um, if you don't have these boxes, then you could go to um, your, you know, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, whatever your local craft store is and grab some sort of box there. They'll have like little cardboard boxes or paper mache boxes or something like that that you could use and then just put um, the little sticker on top of that box. Yeah, even. that's true. That's mm -hmm. true. Miss Ann says, I'm getting my mini press in the mail soon. Oh, yeah. It's going to change your life. Oh, my goodness. We love our mini. <laughs> we do. Oh, and I'll tell you what would be cool, too, guys. If you wanted to do this out of paper, the the four sides that you know are the sides, you know, in design space, slice squares out of them. So that way it's still clear so you can see what's in them. And then you can just cut this by hand, mm -hmm. like in a square if you don't have a maker. Mm -hmm. and Make a little window. Yeah, like a window. You could totally do that too if you wanted to. So as you can see, like it already, just me doing that, it just wants to fold up on itself. Mm -hmm. um, and what I like to do, a lot of people like to do it differently. It's totally fine. Tanner will do the bottom and then adhere it on the side here, but this little flap is where I'm gonna be able to adhere it to the other side of the box. And I'm gonna do that first and then do my bottom later. Yeah, so I do mine first this out. Do you, Becca? I do. So we, I'm gonna lay this out and I'm just gonna add ATG, your favorite dry adhesive. I would not use any kind of wet adhesive. That would not be very good. It would take forever as well. And now I'm gonna bend this back and bring it in. Let me bring this back in. I think it did help a little bit. And I'm just going to scoot it up and press it down right there on the side. So cute. Now I can really get in there too. I can pull all these sides out and really press down from the inside. So like my bottom's not done yet, which is great. I can really good get that to adhere good. And now I'm going to do my bottom down here. And from the looks of it, it looks like it just kind of like that flop, that little thing flops in there and this little guy. Let me see, these two will go down first, I think. That one's first. Super cute. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Yeah, you are. Am I? Are you putting those little tabby? Sorry, I wasn't really looking. Oh, you're fine. The little tabbies go under. Yeah. Put that other tab down on the. Oh, I see him. I see yeah. him. Sweet. Okay. That and then that goes, goes like in. That. Mm -hmm. that tab goes like that. Okay. There you okay. go. Sweet. Sweet. Where does he go? Right under. Right under? Fold him under. Oh. I do that? I think I did this wrong. Do you want me to help you? Yeah. Okay. I think I did it wrong. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I got it. Did you get it? I got it. Okay. Yay! Guys, look at me go. That's hysterical. So okay. Great. She is using a craft plastic, and we have it linked yes. below if you are interested in purchasing yes. that. It is graphics craft plastic. 0 0.007 millimeters? Yep, 0 0.007. I use the other stuff and it's way too thick. The Ooh, yeah, it just is. won't, it won't score it, cut it, nothing. So now guys, I'm gonna fill it with our little six slits here. Well, this is a, I've had an air two for several years. My husband just surprised me with a maker. He That's said he amazing. thought it was, I was doing upgrades. That's amazing. That's amazing. So Miss Mita, we got these craft plastics from Amazon. The link is below, but I will, um, Link it for you again. Because Becca goes above and beyond. If I can put, oh, there it is. 
Sorry if this is loud, guys. It is loud, but it's fine. It's just part of it. <laughs> That's good. Okay, so once we fill that up, I'm just going to shut it. Just like that. Well, it's popping open, but... That's because those six lips are heavy. Yeah. So there you go. <laughs> you can see it's done. It's super cute. Now we're just going to take our little print printable vinyl here. This has been printed and cut, and you can see how cute and little dainty it is. How cute. Then you're just going to peel it up. Just like a sticker, guys, this stuff is basically just a printable sticker. And then right where it opens, you're gonna shut it and then kind of see where the middle is. Place it right down on that seam right there. One's a little crooked, but that's okay. Just, just a little bit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is. And then you put it in the box, guys, and then your bridesmaid, it's like a surprise. There you go. Go in, guys. Go in. No. No. Okay, guys. These six slits, while they're cute, they're so freaking they're really heavy. heavy. I'm dying. So there's. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, 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 I can't oh, breathe. Oh, oh, I'm not cleaning these up. I'm going to have to do it later. It's going to take me an hour. <laughs> They're all over the floor. Oh, God. Oh, God. This table's not level, so they <laughs> I'm going to fill it from the bottom. I'm gonna I think fill it would leave it. I'm emptying it. Oh. I'm ATG in this. I don't even have time. <laughs> Okay, so that's a question. <laughs> there you go, guys. Earlier about what the... I'm going to die. That is hilarious. There's like a thousand six slits on There's the There's at floor. least a hundred on the oh floor. Oh, my gosh. Anybody want some six slits? Oh. <laughs> okay. So there was a question earlier about what the price for Summit is. Yes. And that's a great question. It is. It's a great question. Oh, <laughs> Summit is $197, but we have it on sale right now using code MAKE, M-A-K-E, you get $20 off, which makes Summit $177, and so basically you're paying $17.70 per class because what there's, a there's 10 classes. That's a yeah. Becca can't look at me. I can't. My eyes are watering, what literally. A <laughs> Guys, oh. I'm dying. <laughs> that is hilarious. There's no recovering from that. That's hilarious. Mm. Well, guys, don't put... When you get down, there's, like, no way that you can get down and not step on those. I'm just going to roll right yep. with it. So, this is the cute little box. Put your <laughs> six slits in your box. And then, guys, it's Linda done. Linda said, we don't like the taste anyway. It's done. No, we don't. <laughs> Linda, we don't like the taste. They're gross. Okay. Now, we're going to do our little iron-on, which is, like, the easiest thing in the world. Our baby Easy Press has been preheated, and I'm just gonna kinda preheat our shirt a little, get some of those wrinkles <clears throat> out. Pop this down right on here. You can see how well Becca sized this, just perfect. Just like that, Ooh. so cute. So now, that's all you do. Like, that's it, Easy, easiest thing ever. I just love how subtle this is. Too often you see them taking up the whole back or, or this or that, and you know all that vinyl will peel up and, and not look as attractive over time. But this is just so subtle on the pocket here and looks so dainty and cute. I love it. And it doesn't take long to adhere, guys, you know. I'm seeing those bubbles, so we know our job is, is doing well. So I'm just gonna let this cool just a little while. Just a little. So cute. And then I'm just going to peel this up. The bottom probably wasn't on right. I probably just got it all to lay down for a second. and was like, oh, this is good. This is good. So there's that. So cute. So easy. And then I think Becca kind of halved it here. And then put those sleeves back just like that. You guys can see what I did just kind of halved it. Just kind of so cute. So you can just take that and plop it in your little, your cute little kit. It's just adorable. And now... 
Last but not least is our really cute little tumbler. So here's the tumbler. Um, this is the one we got at Walmart. I it was relatively cheap as well. So we're just gonna take this label off. Hey Rach, can you <clears throat> pause for just a second? Uh, sure Queen can. I Am said, what is the device you're using? She's talking about the mini press. If you wanna oh, sure. grab it I and show her. I would love to her. show you the mini easy press and all of its glory. So this is the Cricut Mini Easy Press. It's so stinking cute. It's just teeny tiny. It's mini but mighty. It's probably all of our go-to Easy Press. Um, it just is so cute and it gets really hot. It's super reliable and it's great for big and small projects, getting into tight spaces. It's amazing. And uh, Mida, Mida, what is the name of that font? Uh, the f it's not a font, it's actually a cut file. Um, I think she's referring to the Maid of Honor. That is a cut file, my dear. Um, so that you can find at Makers Gonna Learn, which is awesome. Okay, so here's our little mug here. And this, I just kind of say is the back. So this is the back. So I'm just gonna flip it all the way over and that's the front. And here's our masking paper transfer tape and I'm gonna set it down on that because Miss Becca has also already added our transfer tape on here. She's weeded it and added our transfer tape so you can see that right there. So first and foremost, you guys know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna clean it with alcohol here. Just like that. Wipe it down, make sure it's ready for the vinyl. And then I'm going to take a little burnishing tool and burnish this guy on the back here. And peel this up. You get under here and peel it just a little bit. Perfect. Oh, look how that cut. It cut beautifully. Perfect. Now I'm going to bring this in a little bit. And I cannot see this very well, so I'm going to stand up and get over it. And we want it... Uh, about half an inch or so from the top there and make sure it's straight and all that. Becca, does this look straight to you? I can't get it. Go up to the, on the left just a tiny, tiny bit. Yep. There. Maybe too much. That looks good. Okay. Now I'm just going to touch <clears throat> it right there. And it looks like it's a little bit crooked. That's okay. Okay. It's hard to tell so on those curves. It's cuts. so hard. So I start in the middle always and burnish my way out. And for a cup like this, you don't have to, but if you had like a larger cup or one that you had a bigger uh, decal on or something, you could take, there goes more sticks on the floor. Mm -hmm. You could take your scissors and snip that transfer tape before you apply this down, but you don't really have to. So I'm just burnishing with my fingers and then I'll take this and burnish some more clearly. And peel this off. Make sure you're peeling that transfer tape super tight towards you. Oh, so cute. Look at that, guys. So adorable and simple, simple. So this is the finished one right here. And you, you can shut it, you can leave it open. You have your little shirt here and your little uh, six slits, just so stinking cute. So we love this. You guys can make this for all of your bridesmaids. You could do like a, a manly version for your groomsmen if you wanted to. You could really just kind of switch it up and do whatever you wanted for whoever it was to. You do one for a birthday. I mean, they're really cute. So then you just put it all in your little box here. Oh, I love it. And you can like fill it up with that stuff that Hallmark gives you, or you can choose not to and just kind of keep it simple. Really just whatever you want to do, whatever you're feeling. Do you need to seal that, Rachel? Um, if you want to, you don't have to, it's not a requirement. Um, as long as you hand wash it and dry after you've washed it and don't let it just kind of submerge in the sink in water or anything, it'll last quite some time. I really don't, love sealing um, things like this, but if you do, I would do dishwasher safe Mod Podge. I would create a very uh, good seal on there, and then after the horrible cure time of 28 days, then it would be dishwasher safe, but that's a good question. You could do beer mugs for the groomsmen. Yes, Rebecca, you could. It would, be, that would be really cute. That would be really cute, but yeah, so cute. Well, guys, that's it so easy so simple today i hope that you all enjoyed today's class um or projects 
I hope that you uh, have a great rest of your day. Don't forget, Design Makes Sale is on sale today. Becca will drop that link again for you all. Make sure to use that code and get $50 off. We also have our Summer Summit on sale. That's coming up fast, guys. It's gonna be here before we know it. So make sure you have your seat reserved for that because it is gonna be a really fun weekend, virtual crafting with you all, all weekend long. And then also get Makers Gonna Learn if you have not already and become a yearly member, a best value member tier. The yearly members actually save $48 um, over the course of a year, than, more than the monthly members do. So the monthly, while it feels like you're paying less, you're actually paying more and you're getting less for it. So definitely think about that when you go to join Makers Gonna Learn. But Miss Becca, have I missed any questions? Not that I can tell. Yay. So <clears throat> have a great rest of your day, guys. I cannot wait to see you back. Miss Becca is going to be here tomorrow to launch something so awesome. I cannot wait for you guys to see it. She has really poured her heart into this. And I'm really excited to, to see your guys' reaction. It's going to be so cute. So uh, tune in tomorrow at 1.30 p.m. Eastern. And we will see you then. Bye, guys.